Good morning, North Hornet, and welcome to Thursday, April 9th, 2020. It is our 18th day of virtual learning, the end of our third week of virtual learning. Today is a D day. I am here in our very empty upstairs hallways. Looking down that way is our social studies wing. Headed down that direction, you would go to our world language and some of our science rooms. And then behind me are more of our science classrooms. And one of those teachers that's typically in those classrooms is going to give us our pep talk today. So today I actually do not have a whole lot of announcements for you. So I thought I'd just take a little time to tell you a story and hopefully encourage everyone to use their time wisely in these 10 days off that we all have ahead of us. So did you know that Isaac Newton was actually in quarantine for a year? He was studying at Cambridge at the time in London. And during that time, it was the Great Plague of London. And so he was sent home for a year. And obviously, Mr. Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, did not have one of these. So he was left to his own devices. And that year was later referred to as his Year of Wonders. Most people are familiar with the idea, or at least the, uh, the folklore, that uh, Isaac Newton developed the theory of gravity after being hit on the head while sitting under an apple tree by an apple. Well, this allegedly took place during that time. Also, what is true, and whether that story is true or not, it's yet to be, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's yet to be determined, but it's not determined, um, is, but what is true is that he continued his work with mathematics and developed the basis for what would later become calculus during that time, all while on his own, without the guidance from his professors at Cambridge. So a lot of great things can be done while in quarantine which is what basically we are all in right now. And I would encourage all of our students and all of the people listening to use this time wisely, all right? We don't necessarily need the guidance from others to do great things. So over these next 10 days, I would encourage everybody to learn something, to build something, to create something, to make something, to share something, to just be the best you. That is what Coach Clay said yesterday is be the best you. We heard it from Mr. Yoakum a few pep talks ago about being one day better. So what I encourage everybody to do during this 10 days off is of course take a little time and relax on the couch, that's fine. But then get up off of the couch. Go do something, go be productive, go connect with your family, go connect with your neighbors. Be the best you that you can be, all right? At the end of the day, the only person that benefits from the education is really yourself. So. Educate yourself, learn something yourself, and be the best you that you can be. So at 2.30 today, I want everyone to do this to their Chromebooks. Close them up, put them away, enjoy some time away from the formal education, and go out and enjoy the world while practicing social distancing and learning something along the way, I hope. So with that, um, today's pep talk comes to us from Miss Lettigar. She's typically in the classroom behind me. And she has a tradition of wearing costumes um, on the days before some holidays. And she was kind of bummed that she didn't get to wear her bunny costume for all of her students. So she recorded a pep talk in her bunny costume. So I think you will enjoy that. Again, I hope everyone has a great break. I will see you back here on April 20th. Enjoy your time off. Rest, relax, and learn something. Have a great break. We'll see you on Monday, April 20th. Hi, Lion Country rock stars. Mama Lion here. What's the matter? You've never seen a Easter Bunny underneath the Christmas lights? Well, I figured I wasn't going to get a chance to dress up for you for school, so I'm dressing up now. And as for the Christmas lights, well, you see, I promised you Mama would put her Christmas lights back up so that when you guys are driving the little lions by, they get to see something real pretty. Y'all lay on the horn as you go past my place in the farm. See, guys, here's the thing. Everything is energy. Everything. So, even something that seems solid, it's really vibrating at a low frequency. What's your job? Your job is to vibrate at the highest frequency possible. And how do you do that? By being positive. What, do you, what should you do? 
Go to your job if you can, if you're allowed to. Do your schoolwork. Help your family. Help your neighbors to the extent that you can with social distancing. But more importantly, change your words. Change your words, you change your life. What do I mean? Guys, you have never heard me say, oh God, I have to grade papers. I have to prep a lab. Uh-uh. What have you heard me say? I can do this. I get to do this. I'm allowed to do this. Change your words, change your life. You got this, rock stars. We got this. Mama Lion, over and out. Peace.